Hey guys, thanks for stopping by to check out me filling in my November month in my bullet journal. Uh, I've themed it November style, so lots of moustaches, bit of Salvador Dali, all done with an art line and one marker. So you can follow along if you fancy, otherwise I uh, hope you enjoy watching the video. Thanks for coming and please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye! So this month's theme has been, I've basically designed it around Movember and I've, whenever I think of moustaches or famous moustaches, I always remember Salvador Dali because um, I remember studying him at, um, in actually I think it was high school art and always loved his paintings and I just remember this self, this self portrait that he did um, of him with his crazy moustache. So I was inspired by that and so I thought I'd do a rendition for the cover page of Salvador Dali with a bunch of moustaches. So let's get started. So I tend to use um, cross hatching as a way to shade in these bullet journal books just because the paper isn't quite thick enough where it won't go through the pages. So I'd rather just keep it minimal ink going through so I just cross hatch to get any shades that I need. I feel like this crotch hatching, cross hatching technique really works well with this particular portrait. I think because it's basically like an old photograph of him. I'm kind of fading out to a scribble around the hair. Just because I think, because it's like a bullet journal, I think the less perfection the better. It's a bit more scratchy and kind of effortless. It does take time to fill in these spreads, but it's something I enjoy doing. So people say, you know, how can you be bothered doing that? Why, why do you do it? <laughs> but it's just something I like doing. And it helps me keep inspired for using this journal and encouraging me to make sure I record things, things like that. So each to their own, but that is something I like to do. Mustache turn into the word November, which coincidentally, coincidentally does look like an M, but it is an N for November. So it looks like Movember, but I did actually write N for November. Luckily, it works either way. Then I'm just going to fill the space around the spread with little floating mustaches. There we are. Noting a November moves. I think I'm going to add some colour to this month. I'm just going to use one blue colour with some Ohuhu markers. And there we go. Makes it a little bit more interesting. Maybe we should add some blue in here. I don't know if you have blue eyes. Let's just do that. Next page. All right, so there we have the opening spread finished and we're moving on to the next page. So this one is going to be my calendar page. Just use that to clip it over out the way. And let's get into it. So this section over here I use for gifts. This is where I keep a note of who I have to buy gifts for in this month. Helps me stay on top of things because I find there's a lot of birthdays that creep up on me and I like to be prepared for things. Hence why I even do a bullet journal. I like to be prepared. No sneaky birthdays for me. Very, very sneaky stuff. So I'm continuing with the moustache theme. These are the headings for the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all in little shapes of moustaches. Now the font style I'm using for this month is a very swirly, fancy kind of font because I just feel like it goes with that kind of a theme. Like the old school, 
who uh, like Charlie Chaplin kind of era and obviously Salvador Dali keeping it like a really cursive pretty kind of text and then I'm gonna add some scissors because you would find scissors at a barber shop to trim the moustaches then we there we go now I think I'll add some color Oh no, I don't have enough squares. Oh, oh my god. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Oh my gosh. Okay. Major, major mishap the kind way of putting it didn't do enough squares for the month so I need to add two extra squares I might have to eat into oh that's not even gonna be right or is it 24 yeah well 25 26, 27, 28 so I need a 29 and a 30 in the Friday and Saturday slot and while I do it maybe I could like halve this I'm going to be cheeky and halve these guys and call them 29 and 30. See? Problem solved and didn't, didn't really ruin the spread. It still looks nice. Right. So that's fine. That spread is done. A little bit of a mishap. So when you're doing your bullet journal, make sure you count out 30 squares. <laughs> All right, next page, moving on. Okay, so on this page, I like to do to-do lists. Uh, one is for my general to-doing, and the other one is for my house to-doing, because I don't like to mix the two up. There's important things that need to be done, like for sure, and there's things that can be done in time, and I like to keep the two separate. Adding a little moustache detail at the top of this and kind of an ornate sort of frame for the box just to add some interest. And then here I'm going to add like a swirly moustache, add a little bit of colour. the spread that uh, not spread sorry the page that I like to use to keep reminders of what I should be doing every day so that includes drinking water making sure I walk my dog giving him his vaccinations worming tablets things like that pretty much responsibilities but also things that you just really want to do but I always forget to do like watering the plants drinking enough water looking after my health flossing the teeth at night, not just brushing, things like that. So this goodliness page helps me track them and is like just a reminder for me to get onto it. And I must admit, it helps sometimes, but I find myself at the end of every month going, this month, this will be the month that I have ticks in every box. So in my last, if you saw my last bullet journal setup, I used to do boxes for them, but I've decided to go with like a tally system this time. I thought I would just give myself a tally every time I achieve a day, you know, where I did drink my two litres of water, etc. So we're calling it goodliness. So the first one is water. We've got exercise. We've got feel, which is my dog. And then we've got health. Saving and trying not to spend money on unnecessary things. Reading before bed. Love to do that. Gets me right off to sleep. Art. Oh sorry, art and then this one's having a date with my hubby. So I'll just be putting tallies in here every time I get a date I'll do a strike. Okay so on here 
think I'm going to do lots of cross-hatching to fill in this moustache and beard. Alright, so that's that spread done. Do we need any blue on there? We might. I'll just run a little line underneath here. goodliness and to-do list spread onto the final spread which is my this is like my YouTube spread so I have a section where I plan my videos for this month and I'm gonna keep this box pretty simple this is where I plan what I'm filming and what I need to edit things like that this section down here is for ideas that pop into my head throughout the month and requests that I receive. I write them down here so that I don't forget. Don't forget to let me know if you have a request for a video that you might like to see. You can pop them in the con comments section down below. And maybe while I'm saying that, if you do enjoy this video or you like any of my stuff, please subscribe to the channel to help me out. And don't forget to like the video if you, if you do because it really makes me understand what I'm preparing content for and help to improve the channel. This here is where I record my growth on the channel and it is in the shape of a comb. And just put a little moustache down here. Maybe this one gives some hair. Oh, sorry, that not the screen. This is my growth tracker. This reminds me of a really curly hair. That's why I've continued this kind of style throughout. So that's my YouTube page. I might even add a little, a little play button down here. And then for the final page is where I put my notes. So I'm doing this one in the style of a very ornate mirror that is surrounded by that called like filigree or ornate swirls and stuff but also a few moustaches and so that is it finished now I'll just flick back through the pages so you can see what I ended up with, got the cover spread, the calendar page, the to-do lists and my goodliness. Don't forget to like if you like this video. And this is the final page with my notes. Hope you enjoyed the video guys and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks.